Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons and Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, tonight we are playing a continuation of our Rise of Rasoon game, um, and there is an important show announcement about that. Uh, we have three more sessions, including tonight, before we take a break in season one of this show. Uh, we do have some important things in the works, and we'll be talking about that more once uh, things get uh, basically set in stone. Um, but uh, we're super excited about it. So um, stay tuned to social media uh, for all of that stuff. Um, and speaking of social media, if you want to connect with us, uh, the easiest way to do that is to uh, check out our Twitter page, at uh, MBMRPG. There is a pinned tweet that has all of our social media on it. Um, if you're interested in checking out our previous sessions, they're all loaded on Twitch, and they're also all loaded on our YouTube channel. Um, additionally, we'd like to th thank the following individuals for their help and assistance along the way. Thanks to Axe and Shield for their amazing combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for their awesome dungeon terrain. Uh, and thanks to Sirenscape for their amazing soundscapes. We're listening to one right now. Uh, lastly, we'd like to thank uh, Rudy Rutenberg and Satine Phoenix for all of their help and advice along the way. And with that, let's meet the players and their characters. Mike, welcome back. Thanks. Who are you playing? I am playing, I am Michael, and I am playing Cirque, the half-orc barbarian, uh, navigator of the Tempest Tentress, and champion of the Fairwinds Tavern. Yes, yes you are. Eric? Uh, I'm Eric. I play uh, Elray Foxfire Doran, the uh, elvish rogue who has a ability to get lost in the sewers. I'm Aaron. I'm playing Zago Free, ever trustworthy tiefling bard. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm Howard, and I'm playing Sarsarel, the submerged half elf chosen cleric of Umberly. All right, so let's do a brief recap of what happened last night or last week. Uh, the party discussed the Legion of the Ember Flame and Rosun with Captain Mara Windstrider. Uh, she just expressed a desire to get all of the pirate lords on the same page with a meeting of the Black Heart Council. Uh, Captain Windstrider tasked the party to work out how to get Volgrim the Mighty to sit down with the other pirate lord, Gastavan. Uh, the backstory on that is um, maybe someone in the party has caused some friction with Volgrim and the rest of the Pirate Lords. Um, and yeah, Gastaban yeah. is holding, um, uh, has granted asylum to a certain gnomish uh, tinkerer uh, who the party would desperately like to get his tools back. Um, the party also met with Sea Sage Lawnjogger uh, to learn more about the hags they encountered. Uh, Lawnjogger explained that the Sisters of Fate specialize in divination magic and always get the best of any deal they made. Um, the party then devised a plan to go through with the deal and then betray the Sisters of Fate by firebolting the hair that they provided as part of their agreement. Uh, the party got into a fight with the sisters uh, and their minions, uh, but were given the opportunity to leave once the sisters got tired of their funny business. And with that, uh, uh, Xenos was polymorphed into a um, <laughs> tiny lizard and crawled into Vaziago's uh, pocket as they made their way out of the hag lair. So, with that, what would you guys like to do? But we know where the spyglass is now, so uh, let's... Bizago has the knowledge in his head of where the spyglass is. Yeah. But you are a party of two at the moment. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we should we should probably go get some of the Oh, others. the two of us? No, we yeah. have the captain with us. It's fine. Why don't uh, we ask him what he wants to do? Captain, what do you want to do? Yep. <laughs> uh, my lizard's a little sketchy. Uh, I haven't spoken it since uh, preschool, but uh, I think we gotta go grab the others. You speak a lot of languages. Yeah, uh, I make a deception check. Yeah, absolutely. He's a bard. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They're proficient in everything. <laughs> What'd you get? My passive. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. <laughs> my passive inside seventeen. Okay, I so believe that. Yeah, you do believe that he can speak lizard. <laughs> but not very well. <laughs> Except for the whole thing about speaking Dwarven. He yeah. knows that's BS. Because yeah. Craig keeps telling him no. That's not, he doesn't speak yeah. Dwarven. So, um, you guys want to head back to the Fairwinds Tavern and pick up your two... Yes, yeah. let's members? find our ranger. So maybe take a you little... Know, our ranger. Take a little, little breather. 
Maybe perhaps Fox fire. as he Rogue. stabs you in the back and says, oh. Rogue. Yeah. <laughs> he's not here. Yeah, he's, Const- got, he's, got, he's sneak attacks you. That's he's, how got he says, a, he's got an animal companion. It's this lizard I have. Right. Our, yeah, we got <laughs> to return our ranger's animal companion. Yeah. Zeno's the lizard. I can't <laughs> argue against that. Right? <laughs> What's going to be really bad is when we make a miniature captain's hat to put on the lizard. I want to know where Enzo is right now. It's a smaller. Well, so it's pocket dimension in a pocket. When Xenos got polymorphed, all of his clothes got polymorphed with him, and he usually keeps uh, Enzo in his pocket. Enzo in his pocket, his fancy captain's co- uh, coat pocket. Oh. So, um, so Enzo's Enzo's there. He's with him. <laughs> um, so you guys gonna go head back to the fairway? Yes. yes. Um, I'm gonna need one of you two to make a survival check. Sure. No problem. Do you get there before you have get two? What, what's your survival at? Four. Four? Uh, I'm going to assist your survival. Perfect. Are you, are you trained Does that mean? Survival? Yeah. Okay. Does that mean I get uh, advantage? Advantage. Right? Yeah. Get advantage. Here we go. Three. 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 All right. Twelve. Solid. Twelve. Okay. So you're able to find your way back to <laughs> the sewer uh, great entrance that you came in. <coughs> Just fine. No <coughs> problem there. Perfect. Um, past the carvings and stuff like that, um, and out onto if the street. You remember, if you can. And the crocs <laughs> aren't waiting for us or anything. Okay. No. So you head back to the Fairwind. Um, you draw a little bit of attention because it is probably uh, early afternoon, like one o'clock, and you are stinky and smelly because you've been in the sewers for <laughs> several hours. Um, so, yeah. I just point to where we came out of, and I say it loudly, do not, do not go in there. Or maybe do go in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you have your disguise? Yeah, well, of like, course, we're back okay. on the streets. I, okay. I can't let oh, anyone see me. Okay. <laughs> so, um. Come so on, Visado. Visaha. Visado. So, Feldry, the, the gnome that is, um, that is the gnome bartender at the <laughs> Fairwind. Feldry says, uh, you're, if you're looking for Cirque, he's over there. And Cirque is like, like lifting the first tankard up to his lips as you walk in the door. Perfect. I mean, it's one of the we need, we need to take a break, no probably. Longer, really, I gotta clean up. Yeah, sure. I, I gotta. I yeah. stink. Mm. Mm-hmm. I will remind you that you are going right back into the sewers if the plan is to go get. My charisma is normally a plus two, and right now it's that's, zero. That's cute. This <laughs> <laughs> is probably down to a plus two. <laughs> but I believe what uh, what Vizago is trying to say is you guys want to take a short rest. Yeah. Correct? That's yes. Okay. I want to challenge you hit. to a meat pie eating contest. I already thing. won this. Um, yeah, but I won. Well, we're we're both champions of the fair wins. That's right. Thing. But there can only be one There's champion. A champion versus champion contest. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Battle of the Champions? Yeah, do you want to do a Battle of the Champions? <laughs> Maybe. How much time do I get to prepare? Oh, well, how much do you need? Well, enough because I already changed my spells. <laughs> <laughs> so, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hmm. Do I get to rage first? Mm. Yeah, you go right. ahead and rage. I'll go ahead and rest. Okay. And then... You, yeah, so in the start of the tomorrow. fight, I rage first, and then I have advantage on all saving throws. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be fine. They're having this discussion inside Veta. It's like just like percentage charts going up and down. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, we have to rescue Xenos. Where's Xenos? He's inside the Saga's pocket. <laughs> There's a little lizard that looks I out. don't think he can fit. No, he can. I, Where did you get that lizard? That's cute. I am the captain now. <laughs> 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 I have... When you open up your jacket, it it crawls out up onto your shoulder. Yeah. (laughs) That is adorable. Right? Where do I get one of those? (laughs) Apparently, you just really piss off (laughs) spellcasters. Your friends become I've been doing that my whole life. (laughs) Why do I not have a pet lizard yet? At this point, it stands on its hind legs and it crosses its arms. (laughs) Hey, how did you train it to do a Xenos? And then then taps its foot on your shoulder. Yeah. 
Uh, he's almost as obnoxious as a lizard as he is as a halfling. It's really quite the. That is not a halfling. That is a lizard. That's well, a halfling lizard. <laughs> <laughs> it is a you can really tell because he's got hairy feet. <laughs> yeah. And it is really small. Like if there was a medium-sized character that was polymorphed into a lizard, it would be much bigger than this one. <laughs> it's like it looks like a gecko, but it's like this big. Well, yeah. here's here's the thing you don't know. This lizard. He's been talking to my eye. I think I can save you on both insurance. <laughs> so you guys going to take a short rest? Yeah, yeah. I would love yeah. to take a short rest. Okay, so an I've hour heard. goes by. What do you guys do in your short rest? I drink. Okay, you drink. I, I make a concert with advantage. Uh, let's see, 28. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Or it was a 27. You get a little tipsy, but you're not, you're not drunk, so oh. you're fine. Um, Eric, what, you, what is Fox Fry do? He's short rest. He really hmm. wasn't doing much to oh, begin yeah. with, so. <laughs> also, I don't know whether you need to spend any, but if you do, I, I mean, have, um, you can add a d6 perfect. to whatever. Perfect, I will pick one. What does uh, Vizago get back in his short rest? Everything. Uh, I get my Bardic Inspiration back, and uh -huh. I get, uh, I think that's it. Bardic Inspiration, that's it. Okay. He doesn't get everything back because he. I asked him before. Oh, the we, God of Luck stuff is daily. Yeah, yeah, I asked him, and he's down to three oh, charges off of the the Still lucky dice. Guy. Is for all he week. has left for the week. <laughs> oh, for the week. Yeah. So he well, started I mean, he off his, poorly. He, it was a bad night. It for was. Me. I don't I, like. I, I watched. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I watched. I just got an eighteen and a nineteen. So I started watching. Whatever it juju juice. you took is I, over there. It's over there. Hopefully, it stays in there. I'm going to take some it's of this time to save fifteen percent or more on insurance. That's true. Because oh, yeah. even mine were rolling garbage over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Saved. It's increasing within the D4 world. Um. Okay. So you guys are all rested up. Um. Fildry comes out and he's like, "Food." No, I'm good. We got meat pies from last night. <laughs> oh, bro, from meat last pies. Night. Okay, I, he I gives eat. you a meat pie. Uh, you eat it. It's okay. I mean, it's, next day meat pies are cold. fine. Yeah. Um, it's like yeah, it's exactly. next day pizza. Like the cheese is a little, a little limp. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, like next day pot roast in a crusty shell. No, it's fish though. The, oh, it's fish. Yeah, that's it's right. Fish. Yeah. Oh, so that's it's, just it's, terrible. It's it is unrefrigerated it. fish. It's not, I mean, they keep it down the great. cellar. I'm sure so, it's fine. And cellar temperatures, you know, 50 degrees, it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so um, heading down in the sewers yep. again. Um, mm -hmm. You guys we'll just don't need to away. make a survival check this time because Zaga knows where he needs to go. Yeah, we're going exactly. To uh, so go. following the memories implanted in Granny Morgan's, uh, the Granny Morgan implanted <coughs> in Zago's head, you're oh, able to well, reach. That's filthy. <laughs> um, you were able to make your way through the twists and turns of the sewer tunnels um, with unerring accuracy. Uh, eventually, you find yourselves in front of a, a recessed maintenance section, uh, torches burning on wall in wall sconces, uh, casting light on a sentry who shifts his weight from one leg to another while staring blankly at the unchanging tunnels. Um, okay. It is unclear, uh, or it is clear that the gang has made this uh, this area its meeting place. So go ahead and put your guys' uh, miniatures in the sewer. Are we coming from which direction? It doesn't really from? matter. I get my channels are going to be back after you come from the side. Yeah, yeah it's coming from the side. Um, it says after a long or short rest, so yeah, this time I'll choose short. <laughs> Means everything you take short. <laughs> Sorry. Almost um, <laughs> why is Circa in the a back? A lot of monsters have Pretty long much. or short, and I just He's I always abbreviate to that to short because yeah, right. one, they're not gonna stay <laughs> back for a long rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. And two, um, yeah. So um, I like that you got a drink always. Oh, get thirsty. <laughs> so you you guys make your way. Um, you see that there is a uh, Fairly bored looking uh, sentry. Um, doesn't seem like there's a lot of business happening down in these these parts. Okay. Um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, on the way here, can I look to see if there's some sort of metal pipe or piece of wood or anything that's just floating in the sewer? Sure, that there's, uses a there's weapon? something that you can use as a weapon. Okay. You don't even have to roll. 
All right, what damage dice is it going to be? Um, what's your what's your unarmed, unarmed strike damage dice? A D four. A D four. So it'll do like a D eight. It's like a club. Okay. Yeah. Decent uh, sized club. Um, it's going to break on a one though. So if I roll a one, if you roll a one, it breaks. Okay. Good to know. Um, so uh, they have all filled me in as to somebody stole from us. Mm -hmm. So we're just killing mm -hmm. these people. Oh yeah. I was oh, just wondering okay. whether we wanted to get, if we wanted to have him sneak up and kill one and see if we can get him off beforehand. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hey, hey, buddy. Wait, what? Magically in your mind. You got this. D6. There was a, He's there a, was a phrase Our D8. there. <laughs> Phrasing D8. was not great. Again, Aaron, PG-13. So we're not talking about getting anyone off. You got this. <laughs> in your mind, I can tell you this. Okay. You got this. All right. I don't think he actually. No. <laughs> So oh, yeah. it, I, I got the joke, but I'm ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> with those uh, boots of elven kind that we were talking about, mm -hmm. I'm going to move up. Actually, um, interesting thing. So 5th edition does not have a surprise round. Characters have surprise if they're unaware of the attack. Okay. So one, we should roll stealth checks before you get oh, here. Oh, I'm really good at this. Ooh. That's actually not too bad. Okay. So, Mike, what'd you get? 13. Okay. I only got a 19. Okay, that's fine. Aaron? Uh, 14. 15. 15? Okay, you're Second fine. So you guys sneak up. So yeah, you currently right. have surprise on the um, on the sentry. Um, so surprise. we'll go ahead and roll initiative now. And if it's his turn and he still has surprise, he does, just doesn't get to act. So, um, so how is that different than the turn prize round? Because, because, oh, because it's all in the same initiative order. Yeah, right. Okay. And if he just if somebody else attacks him first, he's yeah. no longer surprised. Right. Yeah, he's no longer surprised. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Mike, what'd you get? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Eric. Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, Pizarro. Six. Six. I got you. Five. Nice. <laughs> okay. Thanks. I was um, worried there. All right, so we're not going to need that. Why need to feel good about yourself? Yeah. <laughs> there may not be anything left of Surprised Guard by the time. Well, I mean, it, w it is. We're, we are waiting on <laughs> you. your turn to go. Oh. Yeah. Because if you're if you're going to be the one that kicks everything off. Yeah. Then we just um, want you. If you can do it stealthily, that means we can still get the jump on these What's other this guys. What's the The door. Jack? The door. It's yeah, like it sure. is, right? The door's closed right here. Yeah. The door is closed. So if you can get in there. And mm -hmm. Uh, or I mean, you don't necessarily even need to. Or I can act like a drunk. You you got your ranger come over here, you, right? And then huh? You got your ranger sure. bow. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. My ranger bow. I can act drunk. Yeah. <clears throat> so you sneak. My deception is one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Act um, I'm gonna sneak up to the <laughs> edge so I can kind of sure. get a bead on him. And you've already made your stealth check, so yep. you're fine. Okay. Whoa. Uh, so he's standing there. Then then yeah then well take him down without making any noise. Yeah. Ooh. Now remember, if one's getting close, you do have a D8 that I gave you. You have yeah. an advantage on this. And all oh, good. Yeah. That's right. Advantage. Yeah, advantage. Thank because God, because I otherwise yeah. Surprise. That's right. Because I rolled with the. Uh, oh wow! How do you roll two fours? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but you did. Uh, yeah. You apparently. Did. Uh, and with the D8, it was a six. So seventeen. 17 hits just fine. Okay. I don't know what you're worried about there. D8s, man. It doesn't hit Howard's character, but it hits everything else. Yeah. All right. So. Blink. <laughs> Eric's still used to Pathfinder. Right. Yeah. 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 29 AC. No, it hits. I remember that. <laughs> this, is, this is sneak attack. So. Oh, sneak attack. Yep. Then I yep. get all of those. Yeah. Yeah. Good, because otherwise that. Oh, that's better. So. Yeah. <laughs> How about 20 damage? 20 damage. Okay, so if you shoot him, and where where do you aim? <laughs> um, to... I go aim for lungs to, so he don't doesn't okay, make any sound. So center chest. Okay, just... so it just sinks right in, and for a second, um, he he doesn't even realize that he's been hit, <laughs> and just blood just starts pooling in in his leather um, his leather armor. Um, you do not kill him, but you think that you hit him quite well. And because you hit him in the chest, he's not currently shouting for help. Um, so that was Foxfire. Uh, Vizago, it's your turn. So Vizago goes, he goes, good job, kid. Here, you'll make a defat if you get. 
And um, I'll go ahead and do I want to oh. stand? Don't corrupt our ranger. I'm going to corrupt our ranger so bad. I'm going to make him into a rogue. <laughs> So he does, he does he look like he's really tilting? He uh, so he took a third of his hit points in one hit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Knowing that we're trying to be quiet, I'm preparing to cast thunder. All right. Thunder <laughs> wave. I'll knock the door open too. <laughs> well, you should. Uh, I cast knock. Boom. <laughs> you should do uh, thaumaturgy to open. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want to. I want to be able to get close enough there. Well, we don't so have a rogue in the party. Stay so. there. Yeah, uh, it's like checking for traps. And I'm just gonna go over and be like, "You suck." You can make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, no bonus. Sixteen is exactly what you need. Oh, I rolled a sixteen. <clears throat> yeah. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That's a ten. Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Dice are hard to read. Yeah. That's a ten. <laughs> Take six psychic damage. Okay, so before I do the damage, yeah. is this a cantrip that goes up at level five in damage? Yeah. Okay, so you and you rolled the correct. I rolled okay. twice. Yeah. All right. Because we—that was one thing that we were discussing last week when yeah. Doug learned that Firebolt does two d10 now. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> um, pretty awesome. Sarsa Yeah. It does it does potent. It's pretty good. Well, I mean, I'm still hiding, right? So I could come around and. Throw your trident head. Throw my trident head. <laughs> <laughs> Turn Stick it on. Stick around! <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I'll do that. Um, what? It works for Iron Man, or uh, Aquaman and Justice League you all the a, time. Do you have a chain attached to so you? Can I'm going to move. Yeah. So I'm in the back. I'm going to move. I notice that there are two, two places to go towards the entrance. So I'm going to just double move to get move up onto okay. the other Open side. And stay back so that I'm... Still concealed. Sure. I mean, that'll be. We'll call that good on okay. that. Yeah, I mean, he can't. Oh, here. No way. He doesn't. Do we have. Have, it, have we switched to the oh, terrain camp? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, we'd like to thank Mike but, uh, for coming back because um, the last two <laughs> weeks of sessions have been a little rough without him being here. Um, okay, so that was our Sorrel Shipwreck. You're up. Hang on just a second. I'm going to move this bridge so it doesn't try to refocus a lot. All right, there we go. All right, so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. So I'm just gonna charge him. <laughs> okay. Or just not charge, but just you gotta walk up, up and, and smash him. <clears throat> smash him with a piece of wood and then punch him a couple times. In the Dunk. Face. So first, uh, oh, not raging yet. So that's um, 19 to hit him. 19 hits. So first attack does seven damage. You knock him out with the first attack. So that's just the board across the head. Yeah. yeah. Bonk. So he, to, to step back for a second, in the, the length of time, not quite six seconds, he <clears throat> gets an arrow to the chest, mocked viciously, <laughs> and then uh, the half orc comes in and just smacks the crap out of him with a uh, with a piece of wood. I like to think that I was like, Found you suck, sword. and he felt that <laughs> little bit, and that's sword. like two seconds before the board just smashes yeah. him over You said, what? Oh. <laughs> so, um, so that was, and now it was his turn. So he oh. crumples to the ground. Hey, by the way, he has disadvantage on his attack. <laughs> <laughs> disadvantage to hit the ground. Does he, yeah. hit, does he aim for the ground and miss? Does yeah. hit the ground. No, oh, he does nice. hit the ground. He rolls pretty well. <clears throat> um, yeah, and he's proficient in uh, crumbling. <laughs> crumbling. So um, what do you guys want to do now? I want to investigate his body to see if I can find keys or something. Okay. Maybe. Notes about where the traps are. <laughs> 18. Um, you find uh, a... A pouch with four gold pieces in it. Ooh, four gold. Um, he's got um, he's got a, a straw, like a piece of um, hay. Oh. Um, it appears fairly short. Um, and <laughs> 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 nice. And um, he's got mundane equipment. He's got um, a mace that he would use to attack you if you were still alive, and a heavy crossbow that is. Loaded and leaned up against the right next to the door. Oh, That's a good spot for it. Maybe I'll <clears> grab <throat> that. Yeah, proficient yeah. with those. Well, you fire it, then you just drop it. Yeah, okay. it does a d10 if you're if you're looking for damage. Um, so what do you want to do now? 
I'm gonna go, well, everybody up there and we just go through the door. Okay. Yeah. So the nice thing about this Dwarven Forge door is you can actually pull it out. Um, it is a detachable piece. So that slides and the doors Ooh. will just come off of there. Should Oops. slide off. Oh, the doors. Oh, I see. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So now you've opened the door and there are a number of surprise tracks. rogues that are on the inside. Wait, so rangers me... or rogues? <laughs> are you... rangers. Can Cirque just pick up the body and throw it through the door? I can, actually. I've <laughs> yeah. done that before. <laughs> yeah. So um, while you're rearranging the camera, um, it is clear that the, the gang has made their uh, this bit of sewers their meeting place. Uh, two cots with lockers sit along one wall. Um, a central table, table overflowing with notes dominates the cramped space on the far end, and a squat iron-bound chest sits on the table. So um, there are also quite a few rogues here that um, appear surprised by you. <laughs> um, so Shipwreck, you just threw the guy through the... the <sighs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So um, it is now their turn, and they're going to go ahead and go. Um, so the... <laughs> So there's one guy that looks different, um, Eric. The guy yep. at the table, um, yeah, he is the leader. He is not going to go on this round, but every other guy is going to go. Okay. So can you move them to where they've got line of sight? Um, on they just, they just need line of sight on Cirque. Okay. Um, oh, so this guy's fine, and this guy needs yeah. to move up there. Yep. So the guys in the back are going to fire their um, their heavy crossbows. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, that is a 15, nope. not going to hit, and then a 16, nope. okay. 17 is what you um, The two guys in the front are going to move up and attack Cirque, um, so they've got their or their maces. Um, that is going to be a miss, and then that is a cock die, so that is going to hit. Uh, that is a 20 versus your AC, yep. four, <clears throat> um, five damage. Um, so that is them. Um, the two guys that that move just a little bit in the back, they're going to go ahead and move back so they're out of line of sight. Um, and now, Eric, it is do, 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 Foxfire's do, 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 do. turn. Okay. Um, let's see. I can get... Yeah, I can get up. Okay. Get up there. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go for the one. Okay. The old uh, rapier action here. Okay. And uh, that's a 22. That hits. Okay. And do I get my... Oh, my you get a sneak attack if he's standing next to Sir. So. Yeah, I do. All right. Let's roll some stuff here. Ooh, that's a bad one. But let's see. So that would be... Uh, 15 damage. That hurts him. Is that it? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so the other guy, the, um, so you notice that the, the guy that's standing at the table is the guy that you actually captured. Um, I think I mentioned what his name was. His name is Tatum. Um, and he says, what the hell are you guys doing? Why are you even attacking us? Um, and he doesn't attack. So that, he looks like he's holding his action for something. Zago? Oh, because he's been here before. Yeah, he has been here. Uh, yeah, no, Pizago's not nice. Uh, he's going to attack that guy. Pizago's not nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like thinking about, like, who do you respond? No. no. <laughs> We're killing your guys. Mm. We talked about this just before we started killing these guys. We're going to kill these guys, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the only thing Shark needed to know. Yep. Uh, swing and a miss. <laughs> okay. Um, Star Shark. All right. So I will come around the corner and move to be adjacent to my friend Eric the Rogue. What's his name? Oops. It's Fox Elroy. Fox Fire. Fox Fire. Fox Fire. Fox Fire. Firefox. Not Fire. There we go. Uh, so I will uh, cast Spirit Guardians. Oh. And I will make sure that my three companions are immune to the effects. Of what about? Um, 
Because he knows he's back in my the fairway tavern. My three friends and the lizard. Okay. Because <laughs> he's back in Ormond now. No, maybe not. Mm. Tag med. Tag med. They just keep popping up and just casting it on them. It, it lasts for almost two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so for as much time as we need it. <laughs> so, uh, like spectral sea creatures okay. basically surround like me. Like octopi? 15 feet up. No, more like uh, sharks and mermaids and stuff. Okay. Crack it. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, um, yeah so that's, that's. That's your turn? That's my turn. Uh, sorry, sorry. Or, uh, shipwreck? Shipwreck! I'm gonna rage now and pummel the guy that, that Foxfire, Foxfire hit first. Hit. Okay. It breaks over the guy's head. <laughs> <laughs> just right but out of the gate. He takes zero damage from yeah. it. He's just like, oh! It was a working board. You oh, did guess that, you, was that a one? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> guess you clubbed the other guy a little too hard. <laughs> Yeah, you cracked it really good when you took right. out the, the first guy. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, <laughs> punching now. Uh-huh. Uh, 32 to hit him? Yeah, 32 <laughs> hits. Did you roll a natural 20? I got a 19. Oh, that sucks for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 11 damage. Okay, he's hurting. And then this offhand hit. Did you got 13 to hit him? That hits. Oh, Jesus. Uh, six Good. damage. These guys are thugs. You knock that guy out too? Alright. You hit him and he's like... <clears throat> so there's still one guy there. Yeah, yep. there's still okay. one guy there. I'm gonna now move around him, because I can do that. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say, we're here for the spyglass. Give it or you die. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's on my make a check? Yeah, it's only a 10. Okay. Um, so the guy that I believe is in your Spectral Guardian starts his turn. He, he needs to make damage, a save. Right? It is a Wisdom save, DC 16. Well, as we've discussed previously, he <coughs> does not have a Wisdom bonus. But I did this time for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I did this time for sure wow. roll an 18. Really? Yeah. Well, then he takes half of the three ones I rolled. <laughs> takes one? Wow. Yep. You know what? I'll give wow. him two. It takes two. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Yeah. So generous. That's, that's two thirds instead of just a standard half. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. You're averaging pretty high there. Yeah, so, like um, the Should guy that took <laughs> two <laughs> is going to attack, um, is going to attack Shipwreck because he just got hit. His friend just got hit in the head. Um, that's another 18. Sweet. This dice is rolling great. Um, and that is 22 to hit. Yeah. This is going to be half damage. Yup. Uh, you take three damage after having. All right. Um, and um, he would have had advantage had the other guy stayed out, but he, he did not. Um, why don't you go ahead and make a perception check? So you're the only one in the room. Nine. Okay. Uh, My you pass nothing. Is better than that. Um, but Eric um, and and Aaron, I'm going to have you guys go ahead and move these guys 30 feet towards the secret doors that are here so that they can start leaving. Okay, so there's one on this side, uh -huh. right? Yeah, there's then one there's, on that side. There's this one in the secret door? Where's the other there's one? There's a door in the corner right there. there. Oh, that's yeah. the secret. Gotcha. It's not a secret, but um, they're just going to start leaving. And. Um, and now it is Firefox's turn. Okay. Foxfire. Oh, we'll kill that guy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just. <clears throat> they're gonna one. double move, so they're gonna get to the door and open it. Uh, Fortunately, our ranger can drag them from the sewers. That's right. Sewers Fortunately, is. my speed is 40. <clears throat> sewers are his favorite terrain. But they're gonna yeah. go in separate directions. So. Right. As they've done before. And that's a 20 to hit him. I guess okay, you hit him. Then. Hmm? And I guess we have to do that. I get the D8. Yeah. I'll go against those guys. You go with everybody think, else. Do you goes. really think you can take a thug on by himself? He's got 32 hit points, man. And 11 AC. <laughs> I am Umberly's champion. These D8s are terrible. I can today, take down at least half uh, of a thug. Six plus. I mean, uh, how about 22 damage? Okay. So you do 22 damage, and he's like. <clears throat> ah! And he can surrender and not die. He could surrender. And after I slash him, I tell the leader guys, like, look, Sir, listen to my big friend here and I mean, just give us the spyglass. Okay. So Tatum I'm not says, <laughs> we don't have the spyglass. <laughs> Steven came back and he said he was going to take the spyglass to give back to you. 
Why are you guys attacking us? Steven's the guy that was being held by the hags. Yeah. Mm. Those. Ste he betrayed you. Sea witches. I know, they don't Those even honor green, deals. Smelly. Shenanigans. Old hags. So now is a good time to um, let you in on something about green hags. They can take, they can shape change. Oh, okay. They so, stole the spyglass. Yeah, it's almost like they got betrayed and they decided they, that they did were, not get betrayed. They did. What was the deal? <clears throat> give them the hair. Hair, and they will tell us the location mm -hmm. of the spyglass. We gave them the hair. We yeah. gave them the hair. And they can't use it, so they took the spyglass. So that's on them if they're not planning ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, <laughs> but, they could see the future, but they didn't, didn't see, see the that. betrayal coming. Yeah. They didn't cast contingency. That was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that is his turn. Vizago, what are you doing? Don't kill him. Don't kill him. The spirits start, with the Start job. chasing after the other guys. Yeah. All right. So they ran off this direction. This guy ran off this direction. Um, yeah, you saw yeah. some guys bolt in both bolt directions. Bolt that way. Well, um, so what happened initially was they came out shot and then moved back. Mm -hmm. So you might have seen guys attacking Cirque. But that's I what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how much I... Yeah. Okay. Well, then... Well, there's still, still up. Yeah, he's still up. He's still up. Yeah. Not... Well, but he's, I don't think he's. He's not feeling too good. He's not feeling terrible, but he's not. It can take you six squares to get diagonally in front of me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that then. Um, and yep. then he can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. All right. And the other guy can make an opportunity attack against you. Uh, he's, he's not gonna make an opportunity to. attack. Yeah. Um, I got a 15, which I don't think is enough. That's not enough, and so he just starts laughing. Okay. So he falls <laughs> down on the ground and starts laughing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, we're at least keeping one of them. So that was my idea. So that's the one you know, evidently. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't there for that one. That's one. Fox Fire. Yeah. Oh. He's met him before. Mm. Um, Sarsaro? I guess I'll move into the room. Okay. And the thug attacks you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was saving you. Uh, and I will make a perception check to see if I see anything uh, that draws my attention. Sure. Yay. You got what you got? Uh, an 11. There's a lot of notes on the table there. <clears throat> oh, okay. There's also a chest in the in the back of the room. <laughs> great. Yeah. Um, um, great. It's, it's a mimic. It's a mimic. Um, it's a <laughs> there's always a mimic chest in the room. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and move. Ooh. And it hasn't been eating the rogues. It's been waiting for All someone right. else. <laughs> Hi, I guys. go nice right. To low, I meat. go left. Hi, I go right. So okay. go ahead and move me 40. Around that side. Around this way? Yeah. So eight squares, and then okay. are you going to continue to go? Is that as far as I can that get? That door open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get oh. to right there. Right there. Okay. So I'm adjacent to a guy. Okay. I think, if he's still there. Uh, well, he would have double moved to the door and then opened the door, so he's probably yeah. still there. Yeah. Perfect. You did not surrender. Oh, wait. No, he's had a, no, he hasn't had a turn. So. Yeah, but you did not surrender. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to punch him and grab him. Okay. Mercy is for the weak. Uh, that's a 30 to hit him. Uh, it hits. Strike, strike hard. First, strike hard. Yeah, strike first, strike hard. Cobra Kai. Uh, so that's 12 damage. Okay. And then he needs to make a strength. He does not make his strength. <laughs> it's just like, what the hell, man? That's a 24. <laughs> I mean, it's not like these guys are innocent. No. 24. They're definitely thieves. Um, so I just grab him and just yeah, like, you know, would, He goes slack and those grabs. Be <laughs> like, I mean, we are. Like when you grab animals. a baby what? kitten by the back of the pirates. Hold it by the live by the pirate coat. There's more going like, You guys all need to surrender now. He, um, and that's uh, 14 for the rest of them. So Tatum can't actually oh, surrender because yeah. he's laughing, right? Yeah. Um, but the rest of them. funny? Um, well, the guy on the other side continues to move. He's, he's moves going like, I have to just surrender and all your friends can He starts making his way out. Gotta... Um, so move him. There's two guys over there. There's two of them. Okay. So start moving those guys at least 30 feet in that direction. Oh, my gosh. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Okay. 
So that's those guys. Um, Is that also his turn? The guy in the front? He didn't do anything. He, oh, is he it his turn? Yeah, he takes damage. He has to make a save. Five? It's a five save? So he takes 11 damage this time. All right. He is very injured as these spectral sharks and merfolk start. Does he cry out in pain? He's like, ah! Oh, I forgot I was still concentrating on that. <laughs> I forgot that I was taking a, a tanking time to concentrate on it. <laughs> yeah, so he cries out. Um, okay, box fire. Um, meh. <laughs> Listen, I'll, 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 we're not I, uh, hobos. We have a place. We of have rest. a rest. We have I a home. slide the the uh, rapier goes yeah. back into its scabbard, okay. and I just pull out a dagger and I just flip it into my hand and kind of last chance. He surrendered. He's yeah, okay. They're surrendered. Yeah, they're, they're super surrendering. Like, yeah. Then uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bind him. Okay. All right. <laughs> Make a slide of hand check. I can do that. Oh, that's only 14. Okay. You think he's bound pretty well. All right. All right. Um, how does uh, hideous laughter work? He gets he to get make another save. At the <clears throat> end of his turn, at right? At the end of his turn. Okay. So he, what's the DC? 16. No. Keeps laughing. <laughs> so that um, means it's my turn, right? Yeah, it's your turn. The Zoggle will spend his turn going, okay, okay, all right. But laugh if you think that we're better than you. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. But, but if, you, if you don't want your friends to be captured and you don't want to give us all your gold, stop laughing. Okay, guys, we got to take it. He wants us to take it. Okay. Uh, anything you else in your turn? Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let them bound because I, I don't I don't do that stuff. Okay. Um, but I am <laughs> gonna start looking. Oh, are there these chests too? Are they actually there? Those are yeah. Those chests those are, are uh, foot lockers at the end of uh, cots. I'm gonna try opening one up. Okay, it opens. Anything good inside? Um, there is a change of clothes. Okay. Um, there is some <clears throat> rations, mm -hmm. and there is a small pouch. Oh. Uh, looks like a coin purse of some sort. Got one. Um, it contains uh, six gold pieces. It's a 19 sleight of hand to take it from him. He's not looking. I don't think he's <laughs> actively holding it. Yeah. So. He throws it up in the air. He's like, yeah, I think there's about. <laughs> Weird. Six gold there? Uh, oh. Sorry, sorry. What are you doing? I guess I'll stop concentrating on my killing spirit fish spell. Can you just kill the guy? Yeah. <laughs> just throw try to die now. <laughs> Just I give him my trident, plunge it into his chest. Yeah. No, uh, I'm gonna go over to the table and look through the notes and see if there's anything. Would that be an investigation check at this point? Yeah, it would be an investigation check. Ah, I find some papers and assorted notes. Yeah, you, what, so you find <laughs> you find notes. It is definitely going to take you some time to sort through all of sure. this to figure out what what they might be playing. What is it? Mean. <laughs> the piles are in the computer. <laughs> Basically, um, I got a three. <laughs> Mike, what's shipwreck doing? I'm gonna drag the guy back. Okay. Um, over. To, actually, I'm gonna drag him over to the chest. And go, Is this locked? No. Okay, I open the chest. <laughs> it opens up. There what is. What kind of thieves are these? <laughs> they're really poor ones. Really poor thieves. Yeah. So. Um, Best thing they ever got was that spyglass. Yeah, they got a, they got <laughs> a job for a big heist, yeah. uh, which they pulled off. And um, and then apparently their world ended. So um, I'm gonna pause this music because those other two guys. I have a little too dramatic. You want to work on a pirate ship? I've never been on a pirate ship before, but sure. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, the I, best tell kind. Him, I tell him where to go, and okay. I let him go. All right. Uh, he doesn't go to the pirate ship, but uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so inside the uh, chest uh, are a couple of glass vials. Um, there, there are actually several glass vials, um, and um, there is a assorted um, gems and um, and coinage that is uh, 150 gold pieces. Okay, uh, the vials contain anything. They contain different types of liquids. So there's one okay. that has red liquid in it, one that has green, so a, a, the alchemist. Brackish, black liquid, 
in it. Um, there, there are a couple that have red in it, though. Okay. Um, by this time, if you're looking through these, those guys have disappeared. Yeah. Guys oh, yeah. Um, what do you guys want to do? Oh, I'm going to check this other chest over here. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, again, a change of clothes, <clears throat> some rations. Um, and this guy was super rich. He had 12 gold pieces. Ooh, wow. Ooh. This, I could tell which one of these thieves was next up for a promotion. Isn't yeah. that right? <laughs> so that is now worn off of Tatum. Cause it's been a minute? Well, he <laughs> took his time to search through all that. To, to come to the, um, the exact amount of coinage, yeah. it, 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 it did take a minute. All right, so, cool. um, uh, Do you just want to add uh, 18 gold to the whatever that is, and we'll split that up later? Okay. So... Um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, interrogate Tatum. Okay. Or continue. I'm going to look around the rest of the place. You want to I... look around as well? Mm -hmm. While he's still mm -hmm. giggling a little bit? Okay. So, go ahead and make your investigation check. Why did they give 16. it to Steven? Why did they just give it to Steven? Um, is Steven your leader? No, Tatum is the leader. So, why Tatum, why did you give it to Steven? Um, he said some funny words to me, and I felt like giving it to Stephen. Ah, oh, you were a fool. Hey, I know a lizard is going to be very upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> did I say lizard? I meant wizard. Oh, wizard. A wizard lizard? A halfling What wizard. did you guys get for your so investigation? So lizards. Six. Six? Mike, what did you get for your... Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen? So, <clears throat> searching around this lair, okay. you... you feel like you found pretty much everything. These guys were not high-end thieves at all. Um, down the tunnel where the thieves escaped, there is a bunch of different, like, there's tools that they would use for something. Um, they've got like, a few ladders set up. Um, there's also stuff that they've stolen from shops and stuff that is basically too big to pawn at this point. Uh, but they're working on like selling that kind of stuff off. Okay, so is, an armor is it is it obvious where these things come from? Where what things? The, like the stuff that they've stolen. Where that? Um, it would if you did some looking around, you could probably figure out where okay. a lot of this came from because it is stolen stuff. So yeah. like if you talk to someone who who operated a dry goods store, he would be like, yeah, that that's my stuff there and that kind of thing. Can I get a finder's fee? You might be able to, but you'd have to make a persuasion check to do so. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> well, so this we'll, is not happening right now. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll take care yeah. of that. Ah, sure. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll work on that. Yeah, because we're good citizens. If there's anything we can use, we'll take it back to the ship. Yeah. But I mean, there's two good. ladders. I mean, well, that, that will take back to the ship. Yeah. I mean, you never know when you might need a ladder. And then, of course, when that ladder breaks, you're going to need a backup ladder. Yeah. That's just basic pirateering. Yeah. There's some lumber <laughs> there. We could fence that. Yeah. We just put planks so, on it. That's a boarding plank. Yeah. Are you guys oh, asking? No. Are you talking to Tatum at all? Or I don't think he knows anything else, to be honest. Um, it looks he, like they got screwed over. Just Tatum, do you know who Granny... Why did the Red Wizards is? hire you? Uh, the Red Wizards said that you guys had um, a spyglass that they were interested in. They said that they had several buyers for it. Um, and they were going to pay us 500 gold pieces. How did they know he had a spyglass? Um, Maybe that's it. that's me just thinking out know, loud <clears throat> to the group. That's not necessarily talking to him. Um, that's just weird. Wizards. Eh, wizards Maybe true. they can. Maybe it sees both ways. There, you can see. You can see who's holding the spyglass. Or if they're familiar with the spyglass, like if they had it first, I'm sure one of them could find Tatum it. Tatum says, "Did you guys have any dealings with red wizards before?" Kind of. Not really. I mean, we know of one. Yeah, mm -hmm. we knew one. We knew one. Did you show her the spy? Him, her, whoever the spy glass? Uh, he must have. Oh, probably. He's a show off. Yeah. Um, Venus asked him about it. Oh. He asked Alistair about it. Yeah. Was it Alistair? Or you know, I have to go back and I I, I called it her Abernathy before, oh, right. but that that is wrong. I realized that afterward. That Abernathy is the head of the church. Head of your or church was the head of the church. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe it's Shem Buckler is the the yeah that the sounds red right. Wizard. That's the one we brought back from. <laughs> that's the one we brought to the party. No, that was C S H Lion Dogger was who we brought. Uh, honestly, it. does not matter. Nope. Because um, that island is that island is toast. But 
um, if you guys... Where did you... I asked where they met the Rut Wizards to do their... Um, he was he was in the powder keg when he was approached by a red wizard. Um, also gone. No, the powder keg's still there. Wasn't the powder keg the one that got? No, no that, you're no. thinking of the uh, the sleeping that's, serpent. That's oh. the no. The, the powder keg is the real crap hole. Oh, oh that's, powder that's keg that's is the one. I like to call it rustic charm. Fighting rustic or is that something that's, else? That's the, the fair wind. Oh, that's there's the too much, guys. There's too much here. Um, <laughs> So <laughs> I've, I've layered it too much. <laughs> it's it's clear. Taverns. Yeah, there's three, three taverns in town. You what? Can't, you can't but now there's only two, so it should be two. easier. So um, he, yeah, he was met at the powder keg, um, and he was basically he was supposed to bring the. Uh, <coughs> in two days, he was supposed to bring the the spyglass to the red wizards. They were going to pay him the 500 gold pieces. Where was he supposed to meet them? The Enclave. The Enclave. Okay. So the Enclave, I don't know that I did a, a great job of explaining what a, a red wizard Enclave is, but it's basically like an embassy. So if they has pretty harsh laws, and um, I did say this out of uh, the stream, that storming the embassy, uh, the oh, yeah. Enclave is, is similar to storming the Russian embassy. Um, a we're not we're fairly bad idea. idea. Well, it's an enclave of wizards. That's just a horrible idea. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> who, who the head red wizard is a lich. Yeah. And and not a disguised lich. He is a lich. So anyway, so um, yeah, celebrate. He says that he says that Stephen came came in about forty five minutes ago, um, and took the spyglass, and did not say where he was taking it to he said he was taking it to you guys and i thought that there must have there must have been a deal where he was going to sell it for more than what we we're going to get paid by um the red wizards which i'm fine with that i mean that may not lengthen well, my lifespan but okay. well we got good news for you though any of the jobs that you pull off from now on you'll have a smaller split why is that it's less of you. oh good good yeah <laughs> yep. yeah you've, you've got um how many ran away? Um, so there's Two ran away. three yeah, there's ran three away, left. including yeah, yeah. And then there's the one guy you just knocked him out. You didn't. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So he is. He's he, got four. He makes a noise. Um, the guy that is out in front is dead because um, he got. So shot. He lost. He lost one. In he got line. shot in the lung. That's not bad. Plus the two that you guys killed before mm. in the, eh. the heist itself. I mean, so that's there. So there's down to seven total. Yeah. So he's still yeah. got a pretty size. I'm pretty sure group. the weather yeah. killed that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys want to do now? You taking him to justice? You Yeah. We're uh, definitely gonna for great justice. I say we just tie him up and leave him here. I mean okay. the red wizards will take care of like <laughs> He already has his own enemies. We don't need to add to that list. Right. Yeah, so okay. what happens if you don't bring your your spyglass into a couple days to the red wizards? Oh, they, don't get, they don't get paid. I'm gonna can I, he takes Vaziagas. I'm, I'm not t Tatum anymore. I'm Channing. <laughs> That's, that is funny. I take back my disgust. You know, you know there's a pirate ship you can go work on. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah. Which one? The Tempest Temptress. Hmm. Well, hold, hold on. You forget the exclusive interviewing process. The, the, do you like taking other people's stuff? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you're welcome aboard. <laughs> they stole from Xenos. Yeah, yeah they stole from Xenos. That's entry done. That's, yeah. I know, That's but <laughs> I like to make sure. you got to at least have so an interview. So round up your friends. Okay. If they want a job sure. and not get... Sounds great. I, I can't guarantee they Xenos? won't get murdered. The captain? They won't get murdered by the red wizard. Is that a halfling? He's yeah. a lizard. Mm. He's a lizard. The halfling lizard. So you're going to... We're kind of... Are a, you gonna, it's kind of a consortium. Gonna talk? The, the captain? He's a very forgiving sort of a fellow. I, you know, I saw a couple episodes past. He was not super forgiving. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> I like to check it out. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so he, yeah, you will, they'll, they'll show up at your yeah. ship. It's like, because I'll be in charge of discipline, so. Uh, uh, that's good. Yeah. So when Xenos tells you to flog them, you're going to be like, 
bring out the uh, the <laughs> Fisher Price flogger. Yeah. Like, it's like an actual. No, no, tail. he just brings out the magic eye and he's like, "Hey guys, what's going on? Hanging out on the ship today? Uh, we're just gonna be doing some pirate stuff." And you're yeah. like, "Flog up, flog! Don't flog them! Oh, vlog check them. us out on which? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you guys what do you guys want to do? Well, I don't want to fight the hags again. Yeah, I heard. I, I heard and I, saw that that went you know, poorly for everyone. I mean, we've got one less wizard and two more stabby guys. Yeah. So uh, the I hags would, aren't going to sell that. No, no they're just they mad at it. us. Yeah, they're mad at you guys for sure. <laughs> Maybe I can make a deal. Oh. I don't think making deals with them is the right option because they don't apparently do deals. They do do deals. They, they do, do, do. from what I heard, <laughs> they did. They do deals. Yeah. You just guys tricked them. Yeah. You yeah. tricked the hags, yeah. and then they tricked you back. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, we really no. did go when, back on when the you deal. Use we did not. Weapons. We did the deal exactly. They are, they are, Poor deal makers. They are witches and coven makers. Their whole thing is we make deals and we twist wording to get our way. And when it went the, the other I'm way. So they're, they're all bards? They are, is the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hags are bards. Yeah. So, so you're a I will ask again. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys want to do? We gotta get the spyglass. I'm not doing we, it with my current listen, spells. If we don't get the spyglass back, Xenos isn't gonna let us on the ship. He's I mean, expecting us to do it while he's a lizard. What is he gonna do? We could take the ship. No, sorry. No, <laughs> sorry. That was. <laughs> listen, I I could, I could, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, sorry, that was me talking. That was me talking. I was just verbally processing it for a moment. <laughs> that was just. There. Listen, sometimes the inside stuff just comes out. Because you have. That's your outside. You have the, the pirate background, right? Oh, yeah, yeah dude. So you can sail fun. the ship just fine. Oh, yeah. Well, I can sail the ship just fine, too. If you. Take the, the <laughs> nice nine. fancy coat off of Xenos. Nah. You have expertise then in in sailing. If I take the coat off, do I get a double edge? No, you do not get a double edge. Because I've got the hat. Oh, so, there you go. Yeah. Listen, we could we could tell. No, I, I no, Xenos is our friend. <laughs> We're doing this. Um, but right. if if we go to take right. on the hex, I don't want to do it right. on the same day. Okay, so next. I up. actually referred to him as my friend last time. So. You did. Yeah. And you helped him out. Yeah. So Which is surprising. the hags wanted a hair of We're not uh, Mara hair. Fairwind. Let's go get another hair from no. I, I Mara. No. Mara, we have one line, of your hairs. Just one. We, we, we last want, one. A hag yeah. wants to impersonate you. <laughs> Guys, or something we else. accidentally set the other one on fire. So, what <laughs> other one are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you clearly you're going to go back to the Fairwind to think about what your next move is. That think about like what you've like done. <laughs> Are you going to take anything from saved the, the pirate isles, the <laughs> den of thieves? Yeah, you? let's take these notes and stuff. Okay, so you take yeah. the notes. You take the chest. Well, we already. I'm not taking yeah, the chest. The chest it's been of looted, right? Oh, there's stuff in it. Yeah. Well, well you got vials. several. You got several glass vials. I, I figure oh, you sure. keep yeah. them in the chest instead of accidentally dropping that them. That makes sense. You I know, guess. when you have too many things in your hands and one falls out and you're like, I can't hold all these I don't vials. Have small I mean, children. shoot, <laughs> shoot. And then I put. Other, it's okay, we're not PG-13 yet. <laughs> whatever I can fit for that was. Either I can fence or okay. sell back or yeah. whatever. Yeah, you can for. stick one of the ladders on your back. Maybe I can get a favor. Some stuff from it. Yeah. Yeah, I just hang a bunch of stuff from the ladder and I'll just walk through the sewer. And then you're constantly like <laughs> hitting, oh. hitting it on sewer walls. Um, so you make like your way back hats. to the Fairwind. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to spend some time looking at the notes, Howard. Sure. Start so all want to do. Yes. That. So the notes are plans to um, hit up a store called Potent Potables, which you know is oh. where they sell potions. <laughs> um, I love it. And um, the they were planning on using the ladders to sneak in to the second floor and come down. Get bypass the security that way. Um, Mike, go ahead and make an investigation check for Cirque. 13. 13. So um, over the course of an afternoon, you can find. Um, Is this stolen from you? Is this yeah. Stolen <laughs> basically, that's what you're doing. So you eventually, you eventually take this stuff back. Um, you get. I'm gonna roll for this because I. I don't want to say too much. Uh, you get 92 gold pieces oh, wow. for your um, for your trouble, um, and at some point 
um, one of the crew, so the crew are staying at Gygax's Gilded Halls, um, and one of the crew finds you guys at, at uh, the Fairwind and says, hey, there's, a, there's some guys that showed up. They said they're part of the crew now. Mm -hmm. Is that... Yeah, they're cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Tatum and his... his buddy? Uh, he said his name is Channing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's the guy. He has yeah. a really bad mustache. And then I, I lean in, because I imagine it's one of the crew members I like. I'm like, hey, by the way, if he ever does something that upsets you, um, just ask him why he laughs when all of his friends die. Oh, okay. <laughs> it gets him real bad. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, and he heads back to, uh, back to the Gygax's Gilded Halls. So, um, at this point, if you guys would like to take an extended rest. Yes, yes I please. Would. You can take a Very long rest. Um, silence all cell phones. Uh, <laughs> I was only down eight hit points. What was what you guys? Well, well, I was they, actually fine. I just well, didn't have any spells. spells. Uh, we fought, uh, uh, like, three six-level uh, spellcasters earlier. What? That's Without not me? true. What is wrong with you? No, no. Fought some hags. I still had one level three had spell left. Access to six levels. Spells. They did have access to six level spells because they are a coven of hags. Yeah. Um, so, the no, following day, um, Eric, what what does Foxfire want to do? Oh uh, well, the following since day? I only took, I only need four hours, so I've been out stalking the streets, kind of okay. trying to f for justice. <laughs> for justice. Justice. Um, <laughs> justice. <laughs> Just ice. He wasn't there for that. He's yeah, that's going for mark. ice. Sorry, that's... Oh, you're going to deport people? Just ice. <laughs> Just, he um, likes cool drinks. Wow. Hey, you. You have dark skin. Get over here. Let me see your hey, paper. No, I don't. I'm a half elf. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is... I have no doing? idea anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so there's this train. Ice. Yeah. It's now derailed. Derailed. And then it exploded. <laughs> Where were you born? Here? I was born in East LA. <laughs> I'm from here. Sure. So what do we, yeah. I guess what do we need me to do? I mean, I mean you, you guys, guys are not you guys need to walk down to the corner store, buy a loaf of bread and a box of smokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go find who Oh bought, man, are yeah. we never gonna out. see Foxfire again? <laughs> no. Go tell everybody you're from the purple dragon. And then oh, as yeah. you're here to capture and arrest all of them. That'll yeah, go yeah, well. That'll go well. Yeah, that'll go um, super well. And when you when you don't do that, go find out who made these potions. Mm. <laughs> and maybe we, you see if we can figure out what they are without drinking them. Yes. <laughs> or drink them. I mean Or just drink them. Mm. Alright. Uh, now all right. one of the things, so I, I'm gonna port this over from Pathfinder is Someone with Arcana could take a look at those, maybe taste them a little bit, Ooh, or without one. using them. Oh, uh, sure. Without we have a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a long. You tongue, also have a little, bard. Little little tongue. Tongue. Sure is. I have three Arcana. Yeah. But I mean, we could. That's two more than me. We could. We could. Uh, you do know a store. Yeah. The also, potent potables. Potent potables. Potent potables. We also need to alert that man for two hundred gold pieces. Do we? To the do? weakness do, do of the shop. Do you we? alert Trebek to the possible theft of his stuff? I mean, I'm not saying that we know people who are familiar with the plans who we could cut off if things went wrong. You mean our crew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I was, was going to say, I could, go, we, I could go stake it out. We have two ladders. We're all on our boat now. We, I do <laughs> feel like I want to go talk to Trebek. <laughs> okay, so you go you go in. At least make fun of his mustache. He's mom. got a fantastic <laughs> mustache. Of course he does. Yeah, silvery, he shaved it? No. silvery grayish hair. Um, he's wearing a, a fairly nice suit. Yeah, is it gray? Yeah, and a striped tie. And yeah. he says, "Hello, how can I help you?" So the name of your shop is Potent Potables. Is yeah. that correct? It is correct. All right. Um. I'll take a look at that box of swords over there for 400. Okay. So he goes <laughs> over. He's like, these are really nice Those swords. S words. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he brings them over and they look, they look, they don't look anything special, but they're nice. These look they're, terrible. Okay. Yeah. I come in with a really oversized cowboy hat. <laughs> 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 I mean, I have. Like, do you do you guys actually have business? I have a disguise kit. We can keep this going if you want. Yeah, yeah. Funny hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. Um, 
What, what do you guys want to do? With, I'm, with I'm going to ask him about these potions. Like, identify oh, okay. these potions. Um, so he says these three, the ones in the red, are um, potions of healing. Is he charging us for this service? Uh, do you tell him about the theft of his I'm, potential I, I, theft? Yeah. yeah. Yes. If you do, he'll he'll okay, he'll All right. give it to you for free. That yeah. was the that was the trade you I had. You could have gotten a lot of potions for free. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we could just kill him and get all of his stuff too. Um, I mean, uh, guys, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done. I'm Dark. Currently Excuse standing. Excuse me. Are these gentlemen bothering me? <laughs> <laughs> guys. Guys. All I wanted to do was steal his livelihood. I don't know why he's being so uppity about it. Inside voices. All I wanted to do was steal his livelihood. <laughs> um, so he says uh, there's two minor healing potions and um, one, I believe, shoot greater. All of us are okay. adults, so those potions yeah, will do us no good. <laughs> uh, he says the black brackish, the use out of them. Uh, looking liquid is not a potion. It's actually a poison. Yeah, Captain Kid. It was like one of the uh, best. What kind of poison? There you go. Um, it's just, oh, it's just poison. Just right? poison. Okay. Yeah. They don't have like the four hundred types of poison. They they don't have Pathfinder yeah. poison, but they do have Second different galaxy. breeds. So I'll look up a poison. Okay. and tell you what it is. And so he says the other one is a potion of haste. Oh, haste. Oh. oh, nice. Haste, not want, not. All right. So, yeah. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> See haste how waste. broken haste is. Haste, is, haste nice. is pretty Target broken. Speed, yeah. Target speed is doubled. Mm -hmm. Plus two nice. bonus to AC, advantage on dexterity saving throws, and an extra action. And an extra action yeah. on its turn. Mm -hmm. With an extra action, that means I can attack two more times. Yep. Mm, yeah. No, yeah, uh, hasted action only allows you to attack an extra single attack. Oh, oh you're okay. right. Yeah. Okay, there you I go. Did. Although you could, as a sorcerer, potentially cast two twinned spells in a single round. When yeah. the spell ends, the target <laughs> can't move or take actions also, until after its next turn. So, so you have three daggers. <laughs> so you, but but the downside of the potion of haste is once is, it wears off. It once it wears off, you're done for a round. Yeah, you yeah. get stunned. But it can last for ten rounds, right? Yeah, it lasts for a minute. Yeah, concentration up to a minute. Well, you don't have to. It's a potion. When it's when yeah, when it's so. a potion. So yeah, so that's a. That is a potent potable. <clears throat> that is very <laughs> potent. potent. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? Do you want to buy his goods, his wares? What does he got for us? He's got. How much are his potions of his? Uh, I would have to look that up. Okay. Um, yeah, like he what? Says, what does he have to sell? I would have to check my ledgers. Um, you know, honestly, with the with the magic items, so magic items in fifth edition are not like there is not generic magic shop here um, unless you're in Waterdeep. Um, so uh, maybe heal potions would be a good idea. Well, heal potions are heal potions are offered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but like uh, just random, they don't have pricing for random magic items. So. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a bit more. Um, I can tell you that I believe the, um, let's see here. Consumables, okay. You know what, this is not good. Do you have any liquid luck? Liquid luck? Yeah. I don't know what that means. What do you mean by that? That, that is me telling you I don't know. Very powerful means. potion. Yeah. You don't know liquid. I mean, are you not up to date? Do you not know all your Some potions? guy named Felix made it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Uh, so, potion of healing is 50, 50 <coughs> gold pieces. Do you skip um, potion class? <laughs> Um, it looks like uh, second level spells are 180, um, and then it just goes up from there. 300, I think, is the third level. Um, so I think haste is third, so that would be 300 gold pieces. Let's see. Just says uncommon. Can you do trip X voice? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't doesn't have. Pricing. Code. Yeah, I, I immediately have, ignored you. <laughs> I have a PDF that has pricing, mm -hmm. so that's why I looked it up. Okay. Um, what did you say? Can you do Trebek's voice for us? Uh, no. For the last time, no, he can't. <laughs> uh, 
I, you, you asked me that, and I just keep thinking of Sean Connery. <laughs> I know. That's my I tried to make him do Sean Mr. Connery last time. Connery. He, he killed that character. <laughs> like, he immediately died. Yeah. Why? Because I can't do Sean Connery either. I can I'm just, just do to. that one guy's version Sean of Sean Connery. Yeah. For the last time, no, you don't. <laughs> um, I am the last dragon. <laughs> I am a Russian submarine captain. Oh, it's called the Potion of Speed, actually. Potion of Speed? Uh, which I believe just has haste, but it's a 400 Oof. Okay. Oof. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. Um, we ain't got that kind of cash. That money. Some of us. Some of us don't. have that kind of cash, but I'm not spending it on a Potion of Speed. Uh, anything else you guys want to do? <clears throat> Go fight some hags, or uh, I asked Trebek if he knows any interesting trivia facts. He yeah. does. He tells you a lot of interesting trivia. Wow. I am immediately bored by him. <laughs> <laughs> I want a potion of growth. A it's un- potion of growth. It's uncommon. But... Okay. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, but yeah, you can get a potion of growth. Okay. I think I bought one from him before. Ah, uh, I... yeah. You did. That's not growth. That's a potion of disgusting. <laughs> can I sweet talk the price for him? Maybe get him a little discount? Sure, if you want to. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't we have some cheap? Yeah. Yeah. So that would only be a 60. Okay. Um, You can talk him down a little bit. So he says, normally I sell these for um, 180, Mm -hmm. um, but I'll sell it to you for 160. And I'll tell you the key to their plan. Okay. Ladders. (laughs) Ladders. <laughs> you know, I don't have locks on the upper. St- I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Ladders. I just have the shutters. Yeah. I mean, we're on a pirate island, so who I mean, carries ladders? Really hot. Yeah. And glass windows? Oof. Just downstairs, Wait, not upstairs. You're on a pirate island, and you don't think that people are gonna steal from you? <laughs> Pirates don't climb. Only rogues climb. <laughs> <laughs> well, in order for a pirate to get up there, he'd have to have like a grappling hook because he can only climb ropes. Yeah, he can't exactly, climb ladders. Exactly. That's, that's true. It's, can- it's class defining. <laughs> it's canon, which There's we don't canon. know what they are, <laughs> yeah. but it's canon. I, I'm going to roll an intelligence check to see if Cirque gets utterly confused and is useless for the rest of the day. Oh, that, that would be bad. Yeah, it's 15. He's fine. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, <laughs> you don't break him mentally. <laughs> so, it's a constant you battle. You guys have identified your potions. You guys have um, wasted a good hour of time talking to Richard Beck and. and uh, um, <laughs> wasted. You say wasted. I mean, he's a pillar of the community. Did you guys get up super early? Like, is this yeah. six o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Um, Just barely fully rested. Okay. Okay. Drag so, him out of bed to talk about hags, potions. Uh, right. Yeah. And we, yeah. Now we, we find him kill the hags. Go murder some hags. Let's go kill the hags now. We'll be fine. I'm trying to think. You just take one What's the out. worst we, that could happen? Do we, we gonna know do anyone thing? who also doesn't want the hags around? Did we run across anyone while we were investigating? Well, Lon Yager knew about the hags. Yeah, but he wasn't particularly... He what about the Red Wizards? He was actually surprised that you um, survived an encounter with them. What about the, the Red, Red Wizards would like the, the spy glass. I mean, oh, maybe we'll the get the red wizards to help us kill the hags and then sell them the spyglass for 400 gold. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll take that. And deal. then we each get 100 gold. gold. And then they're halfway through their spells and then we kill them, get our 400 gold on the spyglass. Boom. This plan does not get. Pirate math there. always works. <laughs> Listen, there were some casualties on your end. Not on ours. Not, not on ours. End. We're fine. Uh, but How really, <laughs> I feel like you only wanted to cast your third level spells. Really, we got we got to face these guys. Will you cast maybe one fourth level spell? Just one. I only have one fourth level spell. Well, I mean, once we're done with the fight, why would you need a fourth level spell? <laughs> <laughs> so no, you don't know anybody that's uh, angry at the hex. Yeah. Are you gonna go fight the hex? That would be death of us. Let's do it. We have to, right? Yeah. We have to fight the hex. We have and to get the spyglass back. I can see <clears throat> Doug right now stomping his little feet. The tiniest of stomps. <laughs> the lizard is very <laughs> upset. For his, those of you his at hairy home little who, don't, feet. who don't know Doug, he is very short. <laughs> He's not very short. He's short. Taller than a Jawa. Yeah. Of yeah. below average height. <laughs> He's taller than a tall Jawa. 
Well, also to be fair, most of us here are tall. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> like above average so you go, tall. You go back into the sewers. Yeah. I'm trying to move this thing along a little bit. Um, you go back into the sewers. You make your way because you need your survival check too. Yes. Uh, so you make your way back to the area where you last found the hags. Okay. Um, the magical barrier that. Um, the jello wall. Yeah, the jello wall is not there. Really? Yeah. yeah. They've packed they up moved. and left. So that's it. Well. Well, I mean, that's you as can... far as you've gone so far. All right. I I mean, we have a ranger. So okay. weird. I mean, into it. Pick up the track. Uh, you you walk your way in. Okay. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Excellent. Excellent. I got a this is an enchantment by any chance? Survival. It is not an enchantment. Enchantment. That's uh, a twenty-six. Okay, so you're gonna take half damage from the ward that was set in the middle of the hall. Oh, I forgot to say the word. Yeah, you did. And you knew the word, too. I did know Bellog. the word. Bellog. Yeah. what it was. Um, okay, so half this. So that is 10, uh, 16, 18. So you take 9 damage as so a basically what looks like a flash happens in that hallway. <coughs> and then just a loud Claxton-type alarm goes off. I say Bellog. Bellog! <laughs> <laughs> The alarm slowly dies down. <sighs> Close one. I almost got a, blew our. I got a twenty-three round on my survival to see if I can find some. Um, so this is just a hallway tracks. in. Mm. Um, you well, so, so looking around for hag tracks, um, you. It's tough to really track in the sewers, especially mm. in this area because there is standing water, so you can see that there has been. Put traffic in here. There looks to be like a halfling, uh, a, a half elf, and a tiefling that have all passed through here recently. Um, and Our boot sizes a, are <laughs> a largish humanoid creature that's passed through here as well. Um, but yeah, you don't you don't pick up a, a trail. Um, you don't go into Witcher Sense and can follow the the. the stinky no, that's exactly trail. what I wanted you to do. That. <laughs> um, so as you move forward into the hag's lair, um, it is it is empty. They've left. Oh my gosh. Um, there is a note that though. That weird creature isn't here either. Uh, no, they took it okay. away. Um, the elemental. And there, there was a whole song that happened. They opened a bag and then they started singing, and then all of the things like <laughs> went. Bippity in. boppity. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hockety uh, packety. Um, and they, they just went in the bag, and then they were able to get the whole layer in one handbag. That That's they left pretty cool. Um, it's, it's impressive. So, yeah. uh, there is a note on a table. Okay. Um, right. And it says um, Minion of the Storm Crow. Uh, you should not go back on deals that you've made. Never went back on a deal. They clearly aren't very educated. And then uh, Some on the other side says, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you say it twice doesn't make it right. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Three Just times keep turning it in different ways. Crow. Yeah. Who's the storm crow? Who's the storm crow? History buff. Do you want to make a history check? I will, but I'm. I don't know who the storm crow okay. is. I don't know who the storm crow is. Okay. Um. So yeah, what are you guys gonna do now? I'm gonna go talk to Mara Fairwind. Who's the storm crow? Okay, so you go back to talk to Mara Fer Mara Windstrider, and she, right. she's like, "Hey, have you guys gotten that deal done yet?" Who's Gandalf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a nerd. All right. So we gotta go talk. To, well, yeah, we 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 still gotta talk to Volgrim. Yeah. Um, but do you know who the Stormcrow Stormcrow is? Um, I'll have her make a history check. Natural one. No. Wow. You know what? Nobody I rolled knows when who I that is. rolled my history check. Natural one. Natural one. Jeez. She says, uh, in fact, I don't know what storm and crow are. <laughs> <laughs> You've, uh, you've never heard those two <laughs> words together. In words. That's not right. common, right? That's like some weird other language. Evidently, yeah. it makes you, it's, a, it's a word you say to people, and it makes them forget <laughs> everything they know. Um, so, what are you going to do? Is Gastaban in this house? Yeah. Let's go talk to Gastaban. Okay. 
See, is Gastavan the one that's holding, that's Nickus. granted Nickus the yeah. asylum? Yeah. Asylum. So you go head to Gastavan's estate. <clears throat> um, there are a set of guards, very much like Volgrim's estate. The garden like, here looks kind of subpar. I mean, not terrible. We, we know but, some guys. Um, and they, they say... By the way, when we walk past the dark, you know he's over there going, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> um, the guys that you, uh, you walk up to are like, can we help you? Yeah, I need to talk to you guys then. Okay. What I have an have? appointment. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll with disadvantage because of the way you phrased that. Oh, <laughs> shoot! It's a five then. Okay. <laughs> I, um, Mara would have given you like a letter, a letter or something. That it's would... it's pinned to Cirque's chest yeah. so that he doesn't lose it. <laughs> um, I just point. official pirate lord business. Okay, and they let you in. Um, one of the one of the guards walks with you up okay, to the. the um, up to the estate. I, <laughs> I want to whisper to him, do you think this makes your boss safe by you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to make sure that you guys don't get I could stab him through away. you. <laughs> and then, and then uh, as he says that, I, uh, he can go ahead and make wisdom saving throw. <laughs> 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 this is the guy we're supposed to. Hmm. That is a 16. Okay, he's That's fine. exactly what he needed. Awesome. Okay. So, we, so we did, yeah. he walks you, he walks you up to the estate. It's like uh, he explains kids. to <laughs> the guys at the guarding the, the doors of the estate um, that they should they should let you in. Um, <laughs> I told you I had an appointment. Why do you say you're putting the wrong <laughs> emphasis is on the wrong syllables? <laughs> what? <laughs> and he heads back to the, to the gate. What is that guy's problem? I don't so, know. It seems like a dick. Um, you guys are shown into Doesn't a appreciate scene a good area. joke. Um, it's a nice, nice estate. Um, it is kind of um, think like Greek, uh, so like a lot of hanging tapestries. Um, his his estate is made out of uh, stone, Straw. stone oh, rather than um, so. than Tudor. Yeah. Um, mm. And you guys are shown into a nice area that has like a fountainish. Pool, uh, a lot of flowers everywhere, and um, eventually Ga Gastavan uh, joins you. And he says, "What can I help you with?" We, uh, are we the coins at the bottom of the pool? There are, are those up for grabs, or <laughs> no? That's a weird place to keep a piggy bank. <laughs> so I will go ahead and uh, explain what Gastavan looks like. So he uh, has a very droopy, uh, long mustache. <laughs> Um, it, it kind of, it's very, his hair is super greasy, um, and it take, he thinks that it takes away from the massive scar that's on his, uh, left side of his face. Uh, he is wearing a patch, um, and he's got, um, nice, nicely incorporated clothing, um, and a big, super big hat. All right. He's got a feather in it. So. Like an ostrich feather. That's a big feather. Yeah. Mine is not. So is it more of a Yosemite Sam or a machete kind of a look? Uh, Yosemite <laughs> Sam is what we're, what we're looking at. And when he talks, it kind of waggles in the, uh, the brief. So he says, um, Can you do the voice? Mara Windstrider? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do Yosemite <laughs> Sam's voice. He's not Yosemite Sam. <laughs> okay, fine. He's Gaspan, the pirate lord. Um, who happens to sound Pirate. a lot like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> Tar Nation! Tar Nation! Mara Fairwind said you, sent you guys here for something. And then he starts shooting his six guns in the air for no yeah. apparent reason. This guy's awesome. You know, he had a Greek uh, house, and, and then he's from the, the Old West? Uh, but he's also a pirate. Yeah, and, and, he's, he's, and he's a pirate. Yeah. So, um, that makes sense to me. What, what are you here for? Yeah, my, my. Uh, we need to talk to, or we need to somehow get Volgrim to a meeting, we're told. Okay. And what he wants... He has a problem with me currently. Yeah. Um, evidently, you, you're holding something he wants. Yeah, Nick is. Yeah. He's too valuable to let Volgrim kill. Yeah. Well, yeah. We agree. We all we agree with you. Great. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are forward thinking. 
Yeah, he can Are mix. Are you Santiago? The... <laughs> no, he's just, <laughs> my friend. Of us. He's yeah. he's, yeah. he's so. saying that as he's taking off the goatee and like he's like, no, I don't know who that is. Pretty sure you're the problem. I purposely failed my deception check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how is he the problem? He's the one that got Nickus in trouble. What? I didn't get him in trouble. I offered him an opportunity. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. That usually gets people in trouble. <laughs> That's not my problem. People, it is your problem. If people don't understand deals or opportunities. That's not on me. <laughs> so he says, what's your suggestion on how to get Bulgrim to the him. table? We kill him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, we had a plan. No, no not it. Bulgrim. Nickus. You kill Nickus? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, Hold on, wait, no. Sir, what plan have you been coming up? <laughs> what if we just kill another gnome and we dress it up as Nickus? Well, that might work. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. We kill Nickus. All right. Yeah. We could do that. We could do that. <laughs> and we claim that we're doing it for Volgrom. Yeah. As a way to try to get into his gang. But what about him? He points to Zaga. Oh, well, oh Volgrom well, can well, suck a fat one. <laughs> Um, can we kill a tiefling? <laughs> you, you could kill that one. I'm sure that you'd get in good with Volgrim. I would get in good with probably a lot of people. That's fair. <laughs> we could probably own a small continent, but that's not really what was here or there. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I'm not getting killed today. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we need to find a, a dead gnome. A dead gnome. And dress him up like Nickus. Okay. And disfigure his face because Volgrim's met the guy, I take it? Yeah, he designed yeah. his his vault. Uh, did he design your vault? No. 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 Mm. I keep my my treasure off. I don't keep my treasure in a pirate hold. It's a good idea. Yeah. They're right? re they're really easy to steal there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just go through the wall. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Crazy. He just doesn't keep it in in this port. Yeah. yeah. Most of his wealth. Where do you keep your money? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you accusing me like I steal people's money? You don't steal people's I was, money. I was You're right, exactly. I still that. I need to know where to keep my money. Oh, I I have it in a bank. Oh, back in my home country. That's a smart way to go, right? Bank? My home country's blown up. Get, oh, that's too bad. Yeah. You get interest on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. So. Yeah, we can make it sound like, and then you can present. You can be all pissed off, and so where are you gonna get this gnome? Find one. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a morgue? No, they just get buried. Why would we need a morgue? I don't. Know. Where's the There's Where's the cemetery here? Um, he points you in a direction. Uh, and he says, head that way. You'll see some wooden crosses eventually. Okay. So I'll just talk to the Undertaker there. And but the, the, whole, the original plan... You was, guys did come up with a plan. Yeah, the, the original, original plan, plan was to try to set up Volgrim to make it look like he was mo making a move against... Right. This does that. It just in a way that we don't have to trick him. So some because people we, weren't in on the email, namely our viewers. So what okay. is your plan? So originally the plan was to get a bunch of black powder, make it a, trick the thieves that we've now hired um, into breaking into Gastaban's estate mm -hmm. in clothing that actually can get traced back to Volgrim's estate mm -hmm. to make it look like Volgrim is trying to make a play against Gastaban for Nickus. Mm -hmm. While and then go to Volgrim and say, you need to plead your case at the Pirate Council, which then gets him to the table. Mm. And then while there, we set off some black powder charges made by Nickus that will actually target everyone but Volgrim, and at the same time release Thevin mm -hmm. from, during that explosion, it'll actually trigger another one to blow up the door to release Thevin. So we rescue him in all the chaos and commotion during the, when the somebody council. says, Fulgrim, mm -hmm. you happen to get out of this unscathed when nobody else did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, Gastaban says, 
That is an interesting plan. I don't like the uh, all the pirate lords getting attacked part. Um, it would be a controlled blast. Mm. It it would only be enough to cause some rubble to shoot up into the air. Okay. Um, he he agrees to bring Nickus out, so he uh, calls for Nickus, and Nickus comes into the room. Did we bring Craig? Oh yeah, I'd okay. say we brought Craig. Okay. Why wouldn't we? Sure. Craig has black powder. That's why. And I Craig's been. Craig has helped to Bulgrim yeah. twice before, right? Like yes. He was, yeah. Craig involved he, in was, he helped to break break in. Okay. Um, so well, he's got black powder that Nickus made. Okay. okay. So Nickus can't make more black powder because his tools, um, everything but that he, everything that he couldn't carry is destroyed. Yeah. Um, oh, no. And he's interested in setting up a new um, machine shop. You guys aren't in this room anymore. I could probably go ahead and turn this off. Um, I thought that'd be a water feature, yeah. feature, yeah. Yeah, it was a water feature. Um, so he he w- is interested in setting up a new machine shop, but that is going to take some time to do. Um, and um, he could use the black powder that Craig has to rig some, but not all of what you want to do. Yeah, it'd, it'd be good to... Well, can I get the layout of where this meeting would take place? Yeah, the the meeting yeah. of the Black yeah. Council. Yeah, they can they can actually take. That's going to take place at Emmerich's hold, right? Emmerich's yeah. keep. At the Emmer- Emmerich's keep. Yeah. Keep. yeah I just want to know room. if there's anything hanging above the room, like a chandelier. He says he can. Uh, Gasman says he can. He can. Uh, if you give him some time, he can set up a tour of the. Okay. The location. Yeah, because that'd be good. Then we can know where Thevin is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ways out. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, during these meetings, how many guards are there from each side? Uh, well, typically each, depending on hostility level, there's a a contingent of each pirate lord's crew. Are they in the room at the yeah. meeting? Okay. Yeah. So there'll be like a main meeting table. There's some side tables on the side that that guests or members of the crew would be sitting at that are associated with each pirate lord um, that allow, if hostilities break out, easy access. Okay. Okay. So there's two pirate lords that are on Volgrim's, Volgrim's side. Mm-hmm. And there's two or three that are neutral in this. So th- Mara has an ally. Mm-hmm. Volgrim has an ally. Okay. And then Gastavan is in the middle. Oh, okay. He so who's really... Mara's? Um, so Mara's ally is Teldar. Teldar. Okay. The Dwarven captain. Um, and um, and Volgrim's is uh, Asnar Bolabar. That's right. The Tiefling captain. Does Gastavan know anything about the cult of the Red Dragon and the cult of the dragon? Cult of the dragon? Yeah, he says that um, he's seen um, Volgrim meet with the um, the leader of the cult of the dragon. Oh, he's um, seen that. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's one. Dragon red, uh, red dragonborn. Yeah, one red dragonborn that rides around in a red um, coach. Yeah, they attacked our 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 island. Really? Yeah. Tell me more about this. So I tell them about the okay, whole so thing. So you tell them the go, uh, the the goblins and uh, the black dragon, the attack on um, Haldir. Yep. And then about this giant red dragon we saw flying over the top. When we were he says he's one. heard about the dragon. He's heard about the Legion of the Ember Flame. Um, Mara is really con- seems really concerned about that. I don't, I don't. You don't think that giant dragon can just come here and lay waste to this whole island? I mean, why would it come here? Why well, would it go destroy? Why would it? Yeah. Why did it destroy Paldir of all places? It has nothing of value except for some dwarves. It um, makes some really great beer and a great temple. Oh, the temple's pretty cool. It's an okay temple. Um, but this has a lot more stuff than that. Yeah, true. Um, I mean, Archon could have been here scouting the joint. 
Yeah, but the the Cult of the Dragon has um, a, a pro, like a permanent, pretty permanent location here. So a dragon attacking here would seems to be counterproductive to the cult's motives. Mm. Plus the cult, um, from what I've heard, what my spies have told me, is working along the Sword Coast to um, to run raids on small towns along the Sword Coast. I can't imagine that they would be involved in a red dragon all the way over here that's spreading themselves fairly thin. Do you know anything about the, uh, the cult of the elemental elder eye? Um, he says that he's heard rumblings of cultists here. They keep it pretty quiet. Um, and he doesn't know he doesn't know what the uh, Durkin, Durkin Firebrand is. He he's heard of the Ele Elder Elemental Eye. He believes it's an elemental cult. Like they don't. He doesn't think that they worship a god. He thinks that they worship elementals. Do you know? Does the name Stormcrow mean anything to you? Uh, I'll roll for him. Uh, yeah. He says that is a night hag. What 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 have you guys gotten in your into yourselves that you're dealing with? Night hag. Well, a group of hags stole something from us. The S Sisters of Fate? Yeah. No, those are green hags. Yeah. Yeah, but he says. The night hag was the elf, the older elf, right? The, the night the night hag, uh, the storm crow is. Is, is granny? Separate from. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's <clears throat> separate from the Sisters of Fate. Um, but is it not the. The one that was living on the island, on on Paldera. It is the one that yeah. was living on the island. She had that. That's the hag that we stayed the at one that, that night. The voices, like she was the one that she was sending the dream to me. Uh, she had a door that led into a hidden. Yeah, she had a she had a doorway yeah. with a door in it that when she opened. But she it, looks like an old elf. She looks like an old elf. Yep. And she, if if uh, Mike doesn't remember, um, shipwreck definitely would. The night that you yeah. stayed over there, she whispered something to um, to Zenos and said, "May you find what you're looking for." And then he immediately found his spyglass. Um, and she might have taken something from him too, but you know that's neither <laughs> here nor there. And Doug's he's... never going to watch this, so I mean, I could tell you exactly what she took, but <laughs> <laughs> he's not on. Yeah, I didn't figure he would be. Um, so anyway. So yeah, that's who that is. And she was known as the Tempest Crone. Okay. So Storm Crow is not that far off. Okay. Hmm. And night hags are uh, the wickest, wickedest of hags. They're actually not fae. They're, um, they're infernal creatures. Oh, okay. So yeah. what's wrong with that? <clears throat> Well, nothing. <laughs> um, but I tell him about the other hags. Okay, he he's aware of the sisters of fate. Um, he says they can sometimes they can be quite useful. Um, but it sounds like you pissed them off too. Um, Somebody did. I don't. Just because they don't know how to phrase deals isn't my problem. Well, it actually has turned into our problem. Though. No, it's Zenos's problem. It is he's Zenos. your captain, so that means it's um, our problem. He says, Only if, he makes it if you make things right with the the uh, sisters of fate, they'll they'll make a deal with you for whatever you desire. Yeah, what they desire is to screw over the pirate lords. Yes, yeah, they want to hear it from Mara Farrow. Well, that's not good. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't give them. Yeah. That <laughs> also not any of my hair seen. Like <laughs> <laughs> I look on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, he greases his hair, so like, it's all what? it's all stuck it's like to his, yeah. yeah. It's like, do you know why they might want to impersonate her? Well, hags can do horrible things with whatever they want. You've made deals with them, I take it. Um, he says that he hasn't specifically, but in the in the past, excuse me, in the past, um, there have been pirate lords that have made deals with the sisters of fate, and they have typically gained what they wanted from the deal. Mm. So. Okay. So I I'll call I'll call for you when I'm ready to show uh, to give you a uh, look around. 
Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to go try to find a gnome. A gnome? Okay. Um, so there are two gnomes <laughs> that you're aware of. There's one that tends bar at the powder Not keg, that one. and then He's there's... The owner. There's one that um, tends bar at the Fairwind. Apparently gnomes in my world are voracious uh, bartenders. Um, so yeah, those are the two that we that know immediately of. come to mind. You, if you did, roll an investigation check for me. And if you search this one, you know any gnomes? <laughs> hey, you look short. Are you a gnome or a halfling or a little girl? <laughs> I've only got a five. Okay. Uh, it's going to take you the better part of a week to find someone that is appropriate for your needs. Okay. But you, when you do, it is very appropriate. Like, same hair color, same height, same gender. Yeah, that's it's always male. good. Yeah. <laughs> so. Or there'd be a lot more firebolting. Um, Wait a bit. Howard, you had mentioned um, offline that you had wanted to figure out the cult of the elemental eye. Yeah. There is, so you've gotten a couple of leads to go speak with Durkin Firebrand, okay. who is a shopkeep um, in, he's the blacksmith of right. Emmerich's Hold. Do you want to, does Sartreau yeah. want to head to his place? Yeah. Okay. You've talked to him before. He has. Uh, Fire, uh, Foxfire has talked to him before, and he oh, could yeah. lead you there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, he asked you ranger. some questions, and you didn't pick yeah. up on them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, the blacksmith, yeah. As yeah. you approach, um, so this is by the powder cake. Okay. Um, as you approach the shop, I go into the powder cake. <laughs> oh, powder cake. Great. Powder cake. Powder cake. <laughs> All right. So we'll, fun, we'll split the party there. Um, let me... You well, guys do your we're investigation. Just, we're just drinking. Hope the yeah. red wizards don't come and bug you guys. So uh, the, I hope they do. The shop is a, two, a, lot of is a two-story building of uh, polished marble um, with several leaded glass windows. A large collection of mundane armor hangs from walls, and long chains hang from the ceiling in wide loops. Um, there is a sign... Uh, sign hung out front that uh, says uh, Firebrand's Mystical Armory and why don't you make a perception check for me? I will make a perception check. That's pretty good. 26. Okay, so the um, O in Armory is a circular chain which you recognize from um, way, way back in um, session, I think two or three there was uh, V-Wook, when you took V-Wook down, um, he had a Dwergar with him. Right. Um, and his holy symbol was a circle with a, with a chain that okay. was spiraling on the inside. Um, so you, as you walk in the, the shop, um, Foxfire can identify Durkin. He is a, a bearded dwarf. He's got long, um, kind of br uh, dreaded beard that is um, uh, festooned with like uh, magical or uh, metal clasps of precious okay. metals. Um, he's wearing. Whoa. He is wearing um, uh, a leather jerkin, red leather jerkin. Um, he's got several people that are um, manning the the shop with him as apprentices, and he appears to be looking. Looking absently for something as you as you walk in. Oh, okay. So, looking absently for something. So he looks like he's lost something. And, okay. Um, he's precious. He's <laughs> precious. I uh, I say, really nice place you've got here. Thank thank you. And he t he turns from what he from where he's looking. And I've cleaned up since our time in the sewers. So yeah. Well, you had I'm a long rest, so I'd assume you cleaned your. I'm wearing my mithril. Proudly. He he actually at that he's like that is wonderful, and he kind of reaches his hand towards you and kind of feels it, and he's like that that's dwarven make. It where is. Did, where did you get that? You know, uh, on an island called Paldir, which was my home. You and see some recognition in his eye. And unfortunately, is no longer. Is no longer your home. Do you the make your island home in Emmerich's hole? Is no longer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So was I. It was quite a shock to me, I assure <laughs> you. Um, he says, well, may the chains be broken. 
Uh, I was going to say, can, or a knowledge religion, maybe? Sure. Or? Knowledge religion or Because I have religion and insight are both trained. So. Okay. So that's only a 14. Um, that appears to be a, a coded message to I see if you're it. in on. Now, how do you want to play this? Are you wearing your holy oh, symbol yeah, of, of umbrella? umbrella? Yeah. Okay. So he. I mean, everything about my outfit is like. Yeah. I, themed to the I, ocean and yeah, the sure. storms. Yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I figured that that would be the case. So he he doesn't necessarily think that you're a cultist, like, in disguise or anything like that. Like, the what you're wearing doesn't appear to at all be something that where he necessarily thinks that... Um, uh, that you're one of his people. Okay. Um, so... He says that offhandedly, and okay. then um, you you believe that that's some kind of like innuendo. I feel like that is a code. So, uh, yeah, and maybe I be ever watchful. That is a Make a deception check. Okay. What are, what is Foxfire doing while you're while this is? That going? is a sixteen. Okay. Getting in position to sneak attack. <laughs> Um, I'm maybe trying to see if I can figure out what it is he's been looking for in his shop. Nice. Sure. Um, go ahead and make an insight check. That was close. That's a 10. A 10. Um, you notice that where he was looking <clears throat> is a really fancy hammer that has like flame engravings on the, the head of the hammer. It's, it's a metal head. Um, and then the um, the stock of it is carved um, to look like um, like a rock, uh, like a piece of stone, but it's wooden. So um, you get the sense that that might be what he's looking for. Pick it up. Okay, <laughs> you pick it up. Do you show it to him, or do you not, stick it in your bag? Not okay. yet. I'm just gonna kind of. Okay. So what brings you into my shop? Well, uh, I have heard that you might be uh, connected with a group that I'm interested in finding more about. Okay. And that group would be? And I look around and I do my best conspiratorial whisper. Okay. The Elemental Elder Eye. Interesting. Why don't you make a persuasion check? Okay. I'm gonna wisdom save. Dang it. What'd you get? Uh, nine. Okay. He says, you know, that name's generally not spoken in this shop, but if you want to meet me, um, we're actually having a meeting this evening. Oh, really? And if you're interested in what the Elder Eye has to offer, I would leave all of this at home, but um, we can we can talk more at the meeting. Can you talk to me a little bit about, like, just give me an idea of what the upstream looks like and the downstream? I well, mean. if you bring in <laughs> seven people, uh -huh. and then they bring in seven people, yeah, like once you get to layer seven, you're really starting to make some cash. Always about getting to that seventh level, right? All right. Yeah. So, meet here, out back. Uh, he says uh, you can meet us behind the shop. Okay. There is a um, there is a um, building on adjacent that we typically meet in. Excellent. Okay. I will see you tonight. Okay. All right. I say to him, can you uh, can you guarantee our safety? Uh, well. I believe that there's a, city, a saying on the Emmerich streets, uh, don't start want none, won't be none. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what do you guys do? I don't start none. Yeah. yeah. All right. There's, then there's, there is none. Um, do I just admire some of his work, his handiwork. Yeah. He's a, he's a decent smith. Okay. He had a hammer that he was looking for, and <laughs> now he can't find it. But he it's goes okay. back to looking. Okay. Um, so um, 
if you're curious, that hammer is a, a masterwork tool. So if you were proficient in smithing, um, you would be able to uh, have a plus two bonus on top of your proficiency to um, crafting. Um, yeah. I can't, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. Okay. Um, it's worth about 150 gold pieces, which is pretty damn good for a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, what do you guys do? You head back? Yeah, I guess I'm going to go across the street the to, to the other tavern and say, that's not the gnome, guys. That's not the... That's and then I said, Circus is about to cave his head in. With a, with Wait, a, stop. Don't kill that gnome. The stein that he's got. <laughs> as, as he's like leaning over to pick something up, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you dropped that rag. Sick, no. <laughs> so do you fill that in? As, as, yeah, as, as he takes up, I go... So the, the blacksmith, I, I think, is a part of that cult of yeah. the Elder Elemental Eye. And he says, I'm not supposed to talk about it. <laughs> that was You're doing a great job. Yeah. First thing I wanted really to do is come Really good at this cult talk thing. talk to you guys about it. Uh, he says, I shouldn't dress up like the chosen champion of Umberly, and that they're going to have a secret meeting tonight behind... The blacksmith shop, because so in- they meet in secret so- in a building next door. So he invited you to and a trap? I don't know. And I'm saying this, like, pre- like not even caring if there are people or not yeah. in the, <laughs> the tavern. But, so he told you not to wear your armor? He told, yeah. yeah, he told me not to wear my, my yeah. armor. And then he invited you to a place and where all his friends hang out? In, in, yeah. in the dark at night. In the dark at night? Trap. It's Wait. a trap. What if I just wear like a great a cloak over my armor? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Do you want to go with me? It'll sure. be fun. Yeah. Do you, you need to tell us about bring you said, seven people? He said if we don't start none, we don't get none. And Oh, I start some. That's, <laughs> that's, oh, that's, I, I when, will be starting some. Last time I was here, uh, we, we said that before we mug somebody. <laughs> um, but at least I have a bargaining chip. Let's see, you bring seven yeah. people. So we need to have seven. I tell them about the upstream downstream thing. Uh, that's 823,000 people. I think people. that the <laughs> Elder <laughs> Elemental Eye might just be a multi level marketing. <laughs> <laughs> In level seven, that's 800 well, and something a, thousand people. To be people. fair, it was a pyramid, upside down pyramid. <laughs> oh. oh. So where all the money gets funneled to one dude. We're running a little short on time, so I'm oh, going to okay. just skip to you guys getting to the place. You okay. guys can be totally prepared if you want to come uh, for a fight. Um, I come, but instead of wearing my turquoise cloak with the white fur on top that yeah. makes it look like a wave, mm-hmm. uh, I'm just wearing a nondescript gray cloak. Okay. You turn it inside out. Yeah. <laughs> turquoise um, on the inside. Uh, so, uh, uh, Durkin is waiting for you behind the shop, and he leads you into a building across the alleyway. Okay. Um, he, in this building, there are, it is very much like, the temple that you found on Larath that um, was r- ruins. This temple is not more, ruined. Yeah, not ruined. This it's place looks well kept. Um, there are statues. This is the place where his friend died, right? Yeah. There are statues right of elements. Okay. Um, and he says, um, he says, brothers, we've got new, um, new. new People that are interested in joining the fold, um, uh, we will be dis- we'll begin our meeting by discussing old business. Um, and he talks about uh, this group of um, he he gets a sneer on his face and he says uh, a group that follows the uh, the Lord of Flames but um, are not worthy. They're from below. And um, they were sent to an island called Lith to investigate um, a very dark um, energy. Um, and then he taking notes. And then he says, um, he says that they haven't been heard from in a couple of months, but we believe that the, we should be hearing from them any day. Um, that the goblins had killed. Right. Well, so Lith is the island that was near Lorath. Yeah, Lith is the island that we you guys go, didn't oh, go oh, to. Oh, that's right, that's right. And I will, so... There's a temple. I think I'd mentioned this before, but I will definitely mention it now. 
Vwook's notes said I that the, is where the 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 Dwergar is, right? the Dwergar um, had pointed him in that direction. Okay. To yeah, go. So the Dwergar, the guys from under um, down below. Right. Right. Not worthy. Yeah. So, um, so what elemental? Then he starts a sales pitch. So he gets you guys all sit down, and he <laughs> pulls out an easel, and he starts drawing circles on it, and then lines to each one of those. And it's it's a pretty fantastic sales pitch. Hold on one second, but wait, there's more. And he's like, oh, that's a crit. Uh, and he's like, <laughs> by buying at a really reduced rate and then selling to other people, you get you get tons of. I mean, it, how can you possibly go wrong? Huh? What? So what's, what's the introductory package cost? The introductory package costs 350 gold pieces. No. We could put that together. <laughs> <laughs> so what elements are up on the... Uh, there's one of each. There's so one there's a uh, fire there's elemental. Five. There's, um, and no, there's, there's just wind, the four. Earth, wind, fire, water. Yeah, there's and an air, thing. water, okay. um, a love um, elemental. Um, yeah. Yeah. And a rock. Uh, yeah. Without heart, Captain Planet's kind of a jackass. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if I've got anything that I could offer to one of the statues. I mean, they'll take. There, there's little offerings of okay. um, <sighs> coin. You see, coins are in there. But I'm thinking Gems. more of like something a rare for each, for like the Earth one. I don't think I have anything though. You don't have any precious gems. Yeah, gems. Oh, I have gems. Yeah. yeah. Why, why, are are we giving, giving gems? why are we giving? Why are we giving them a chance? Because what? we killed the last ones we met, and I don't want that to happen again. You well, you killed kill them because you took the gems off of the yeah. altar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so don't take the gems. These off are the, the same altar. gems were, that we those took. Those were glass <laughs> gems, though. Yeah, they were. So I put those in. Okay. <laughs> They're fine. Um. So yeah. So he 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 gives you his best Amway sales pitch. All right. I mean, normally, um, I would say that's a bad idea. However, I'm extremely charismatic. We might actually turn a profit on this. I I feel like you might. Song, I'm Zago sure. might be able to get like fourteen people to join a cult. <laughs> <laughs> but they've also got to get seven people to join the cult. Yeah, I know it's what's seven. The population and seven or fourteen? Yeah. Hmm? What's this? What's no? It's seven it's 10, then 000. seven. So it goes seven then forty nine. Mm. It's ten thousand. So by tier four, you've run out of people on the island. Yeah, it's, it's well, that's why you've got to sail to the other islands. He yeah. says. Oh, man. I don't know, is there like a benefits package or anything? Like are we talking No benefits tent? package. Oh. You know, but we do have these scrolls that you could read. Um, those are fifty dollars a piece. Ooh, 50, yeah, go fifty gold pieces. That's a piece. that's tier four. It's sixteen thousand eight hundred and seven <laughs> people. This so, joke has gone way too far. <laughs> We're not are doing Amway. Are there prizes for it's not like the Amway. most it's God, what it was what did Amway get they turned they switched the name to? Something. Something. I don't know. I somebody tried to recruit me into it when I was doing sales. Team Nation. <laughs> um, what were you saying? I'm sorry. What were you saying? Uh, no, I was asking if there were like a free crews if you sold. Oh yeah, them. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely uh, packages. That I mean, I'm can, just saying we could really a, build up our network. If you're a diamond level member, um, you can you can really reap the benefits. Is there a condo like we can use if we're a diamond level member? Oh man, absolutely. That's nice. I mean, we've got condos all over the world. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Elements well, of I, uh, yeah. Uh, water I, deep. I can't commit to uh, to something like this without first consulting my mistress. Uh, oh, but I, I will consult with her and, and then uh, at the same time next week. Is that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you want to talk to me about? <laughs> <laughs> not, not you. Oh. So with that, we will go ahead and bring our session to a close. Uh, thanks again to all of the people that help us. Thanks to Action Shield. Thanks to Sirenscape. Thanks to Dwarven Forge. Um, and thanks to Rudy and Satine. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Um, this is that will be the penultimate episode. Um, dun, dun, dun. Leading up to the Blackheart Council. So it should be a good time. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>